reason why we must pray is found it's a very strange scripture that not many people um not many people look at first thessalonians chapter 2 please from verse 18 paul was teaching the church in thessalonica he was showing them a very powerful mystery read it with me if you're a christian one to read please uh-huh one more time please once and again meaning i tried and tried again wherefore your favor would have come to you he tried once and again but satan hindered us wherefore your testimony would have happened since last year march but once and again a system of resistance the Bible is not silent as to the fact that we are not alone in this side of God's kingdom the Bible is not silent as to the fact that there are operations of darkness that attempt to sabotage the liberty of the saints Paul took time to give us a sound theological exegesis theologically speaking the book of Ephesians is believed to be the zenith of Paul's apostolic ministry and he showed us the the strategy to ward off the arsenals of darkness are we together now wherefore we would have come we would have come your breakthrough your lifting the manifestation of prophecy but Satan hindered us the Bible lets us know that Satan is not afraid to arise and challenge believers it is true from scripture that satan is bold enough to challenge every word that god communicates to a believer in fact the bible shows us the the operation of satan in a very instructive way jesus is done fasting look up please brothers and sisters i think i've shared it here somewhere jesus is done fasting and the first person he meets after his version of wine press is not his disciples is satan satan is patient with jesus and after 40 days imagine the word the logos of god with the holy ghost in him and on him anointed without measure now prays to fast for 40 days this spiritual combination and the first person he sees is satan and satan is not shaking and falling under the anointing satan is standing in front of jesus and he's the first to broker a conversation turn this stone to bread and the word is spoken now this is rema and satan does not fall he does not run away now i'm not downplaying the power of god i'm showing you something that should challenge you what exactly is satan afraid of because the word is there the spirit is there the anointing is there faith-filled utterances are there and satan is still standing satan takes it to another dimension he holds the hand of jesus and takes him to a high mountain you are holding the word filled with the spirit and dragging him hello him adonai thy kingdom come thy will be done hello him adonai thy kingdom come listen to me everything good is why satan will come to you satan has no business coming to you until he sees that the jealousy of god has been invested towards your destiny he's looking for everything god wants when god looks at you he wants to know why when god zooms his attention on your family he wants to know why satan is threatened every time he sees the direction of god towards you i have loved you with an everlasting love i have drawn you with my loving kindness the moment jesus was born the spirit of the antichrist began to move through people to look for him to kill him he became uneasy the day a declaration came from heaven this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased hear ye him satan never looked for anybody again including barabbas 
he left Barabbas quietly because he was looking for a man who was a representation of God in the earth. Please listen to me very carefully. It is important to pray because it is at the point of priesthood that we, we establish victory experientially. Hebrews chapter 2 from verse 5. Paul was putting a very strong balance. He was bringing the, the Psalm of David about man and he was teaching us something that we must understand. For unto the angels are he not put in subjection the world to come, whereof we speak. Verse 6, please. But in a certain place he testified, saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him, not the son of man that thou visitest him? 7 but thou hast made him lower than elohim the word there is elohim god himself not just angels thou crownest him with glory and honor listen and thou didst set him over the work of thy hands verse 8 thou hast put all things where in subjection under his feet for in that he put all things in subjection under him he left nothing this is the speakings of God. You see how God speaks. He left nothing that is not put under him. But come back to this realm. Now we do not yet see all things. Reality is finished from God's standpoint. But in experience we do not yet see it. So priesthood becomes the bridge between prophecy and experience. That that which is finished can find expression to become manifest hallelujah it is true that when you live your life barren of priesthood you may never never see in experience the salvation of god so jesus himself would get up early and go to pray the logos of god prayed the logos of god prayed he prayed every day he prayed every time even at his passion he prayed my house shall be called the house